All right, so I'm gonna film a quick intro. Now, after hours, uh, everybody just left, but I wanna try to keep it going because it's very busy. Um, so I have a 2001 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo with a 4.7, and the transmission is the 545 RFE. All right, um, the car came in uh, with a check engine light on. The lady cannot get it inspected. So we scanned it and we see we have a P0740 code, or P0740, all right? And that code is uh, torque converter, clutch control, no RPM drop at lockup. All right, so basically what this means is the converter can no longer lock up or no longer fully lock up. All right, so it throws that code because it sees a slip. All right, so we got the transmission out. I got it apart. I did find a problem in the pump because remember all the um, torque converter clutch valves, uh, the accumulator valve, the control valve, the limit valve, uh, everything is in the pump. And remember uh, me mentioning probably when I tear these down that we got to take some of these valves out because springs like to break. Okay, and that's actually what I found. So I'm going to have all this stuff laid out for you tomorrow. Um, I'm waiting for some parts because I do also want to talk about the solenoid pack because this is uh, considered an early unit and the solenoid pack um, plastic is black so I'm updating it to white so I gotta update the uh, cam plate or the slide plate. So I kinda wanted to save all that stuff for you for tomorrow morning and uh, we'll go over uh, what I found which I believe caused the 740 code. I'm gonna go over the solenoid pack and stuff like that. So um, I'll have everything here tomorrow and I will show you what I found uh, as far as what I believe is causing the 740 code. Uh, again, um, a common procedure to take uh, certain valves out and check the springs. And you know, honestly, even if these springs are good, I change them uh, as a preventive maintenance because it's not as simple as dropping a valve on. You know, these valves are in a pump. Got to pull a unit and uh, access it that way. Uh, all right, so. I am going to continue with you guys tomorrow morning uh, with this 545 RFE, so I will see you then. All right, so back with you this morning. So what I found with this uh, to be a potential problem for the 740 code is in the pump, uh, you have the TCC accumulator. All right, it's just a basically a little valve like this. I'm gonna give you a close up here, but that spring was broken. Okay, and the TCC accumulator with a broken spring is gonna give you apply and release concerns. All right, if you have a broken TCC limit valve, uh, that will more than likely stall on engagement. So um, let me get a little closer here and I'll kind of just show you this. I have my new solenoid pack that also I wanted to show you. I have a black connector that came out. I have a white connector that's going in. So because of that, the cam plate has to be updated. And we'll just uh, go over this and let me get a little closer. Okay, so back with you this morning, and in the pump area, they have a valve called the TCC accumulator valve. Okay, this actually is the whole valve right here, and when I took it apart, again, as standard procedure, I checked the springs on the accumulator valve and the limit valve, all right, and this one was broken. Okay, so... As far as the accumulator valve goes, broken spring will give you apply and release concerns. And if the limit valve, okay, so this is the TCC accumulator valve in this bore. Okay, this is the TCC limit valve. If this spring was broken, uh, this thing more than likely would stall on engagement. All right, this is your TCC switch valve, TCC control valve, and pressure regulator valve. And in the valve body is your solenoid switch valve. All right, so again, as standard rebuild procedure, 
I have these spring sets. All right, this is the Sonics for the TCC Limit, and this is for the TCC Accumulator. All right, so that spring, both springs actually, are going to be changed, okay? And this could very well be the reason for the 740 code. Okay. So moving on. This is the solenoid pack that came off. You see this is black plastic. And of course, along with this cam plate or slide plate, this is the original one and the updated one. is going to be the white pack, the white plastic pack. Okay, and with that, you need to update the cam plate. Uh, they say there's a, the different uh, depth is different uh, in this area right here, and if you use the original one, uh, very possible, uh, you would get a code present. All right, here's the other part of the pump. I got this together already, and these here, you know, the earlier model, the whole entire gear comes out, all right? And of course, I have my shuttle valve. Now again, with these earlier transmissions, here is the valve body. Uh, one thing that you really do need to check is this plate likes to crack, all right? Sometimes it'll even break the bolts off or the bolts will come loose and this plate will crack. So this is something that you want to check. I mean, I check every one of them. And here is the uh, stopper for the TCC accumulator valve. All right, so. Together, this has the two small, the two small bolts that hold this plate on, and you want to make sure you put those back because if you don't, it creates a huge leak, and the car may not even move. Okay, so we have the new spring, the new valve, the valve in first. down a little bit okay that is in place now let's take a look at Limit valve. Certainly feels okay. that uh, spring. This is in good shape here, but we're changing it anyway. Okay, replacement spring from Sonics. They come in a pack of five. This 
one I'm going to need a little bigger screwdriver for. this up a little bit just so you guys can see so this is all ready to go and I guess that is about it when you go into the valve body again you want to check that plate to make sure the plate is good across here uh, you want to make sure that your solenoid switch valve is nice and free that goes here about it for this so I'm going to continue on this transmission as we can get this thing back in the car so again it's a 2001 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo with a 4.7 it's a 545 RFE and the complaint was check engine light on P0740 code is present I think we actually even cleared this once um, but I don't think the monitors got ready in time for inspection and the code came back. So uh, customer didn't have much of a choice but to get this thing done. And more than likely, I think it's uh, a big part of it is that broken spring uh, in that TCC accumulator for this code. And I guess that's about it. So I thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. And we'll see you next one.